great colored coops. Who no, no, I couldn't be number two. MVP the league most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, it's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched. Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is a special edition of the AFC Championship game on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Something we've only seen less than a handful of times since this franchise was born back in the 90s, and that's Jacksonville hosting in the playoffs as we welcome you to TIAA Bank Field. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl, and it'll be a great one between the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the, this is the one that's the real challenge. playoff game very early on pretty deep throw but good coverage i think they were counting on the defenders being a little tight a little over anxious early and trying to catch him flat-footed and get a big play he's gonna air one out and that'll be incomplete good protection that time and they couldn't hook up on the long one now it's third down now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions over the middle, complete. It's Vaughn. Let's go, Let's go. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Vaughn. Touchdown, Jaguars! A big play there. 53 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot in the big game, their big playability. They can strike from it. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. Taken in at the 11. An excellent return that time. 26 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense. First down and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. 
Line of scrimmage again to 37 as they line up second and 10. A well, pass there complete to Westbrook. Tally that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. To throw once more on second and ten. Foles. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Foles. And that will be incomplete as well. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. This will be fielded at the 17. A big seam and he might go all the way. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. Such an impressive punt return, 83 yards. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly for six. Hey, rookie, that's the way to make an impression. Return one for a touchdown. Yeah, welcome to the party. We saw him. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. They'll look to set up his blockers. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They're out in front last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. It would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Foles. He's got his tight end, O'Shaughnessy. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Second and 10. Trying to lay one up deep. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. He'll look to throw. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it in that. And a reminder, folks, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report coming up shortly. The coach with us, as always, as he will start to look ahead to Super Bowl 53. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. That was a nicely run snap route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He'll drop to throw. And he completes it to Westbrook. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. So we are halfway home. Yeah, who has time for a halftime? Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. Now this is fielded in the end zone. 12 yards on the return that time. And it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They were able to get the ball back here. Didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points. Through an opening, and there he goes. Touchdown, Jaguars. A big play there saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And taken right on the 30. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. That one goes for 24 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll run. This is Blue. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. A lot of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. They're going to look to throw. And that is caught by the back judge right there to say incomplete. Be alert, be alert. 53 is the mic. We own them. We own them. <laughs> now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's going to go for it. He's got it at the 15. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A big pickup of 38. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Vaughn. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Easy, easy. Mike, get the ass, get the ass. Yo, yo, yo. Watch the ass. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. From four yards out. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Well, they've been part of the... Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. This will be taken at the 10. 
Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the offense will take over with a new... We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to go. He's got a man complete. The 20, 10, 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A one-yard touchdown reception as his guys continue to... Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. Taking it about the 16. And there he goes again. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. On first down, it's blue. It's a six yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The last run got six, now second and four. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Vaughn. Pass interference, offense. So a decent gain, but Still all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Now they'll try the jet sweep here. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called...
start your week by installing your game plan. 